over the last two and a half years, we've talked several times about my thoughts about flying. I used to fly when I was younger. I never had a mentor. It was all self-induced. I grew up around air shows and airplanes. I found somebody who sort of shared my love of airplanes because I was always doing it alone. And um, it just happened to be Ed. Ed, of all people, is like not only an airplane person, but obviously a skilled aerobatic pilot as well. And I started going up with the three horsemen pilots sitting in the back of the Mustang while they were doing their aerobatic routines and sort of getting used to the feelings of spatially what was going on and what the airplane smelled like and what it was like to be upside down and doing aerobatics and be in formation to other airplanes. And I just sort of fell in love with it, we fell in love with it. Decided to relearn, requalify myself to fly again. I'm very grateful to the lot of them and it's opened my eyes to a lot of things. To be able to be so immersed in my world and be able to step out and learn a new skill that requires such precision and such a gift and sort of relearn, rejigger stuff I used to know so long ago and do both. That's truly a unique experience. We talked probably about a year ago, you know, just fancifully, what my thoughts were musically, what did I think of when I saw airplanes. Ed asked me about writing a piece for the horsemen that both encapsulated my feelings about flight and my experiences of what it was like flying with them that would become a blueprint that they would fly to, like a choreography. I was writing a piece um, of ballet music that people would dance to, or in this case, fly to. Most important, it'll be a marriage between the music and the flying that people will remember. They'll remember the experience of watching the horsemen fly. And for me, the marriage is the most important thing. And they'll say, what a great display. And that's the perfect sort of um, outcome of something that I could contribute to um, the horsemen. It was the first project that I've been able to write in a very long time where I haven't had a director dictating to me um, all the parameters and I haven't had a script that I've had to catch all kinds of details every minute or in hundreds of a second or things like that the way I usually have to work. I was given a clean slate from the beginning to the end and just said go. Basically just fly and write your soul and write your heart. That's what I did. And it was so liberating to be able to write a piece like that that had no encumbrances on it. One, two, This allowed me to really do something that was so free. Um, to me, it was so much like flying. I, I mean, I keep using this analogy. And the, what came out of me had no time constraints and was boundless. And I think sounds like that. The orchestra I use is a group. I think we had um, 88 people yesterday. And it's an orchestral group that I use on most of my films. I know all of these people. I work with them on every film I do. I wanted to somehow convey to them the magic of what it was like to fly, what it was like to float, to have that sort of suspension. I wanted to somehow entrap them in this web that what they were playing 
I felt very special about, and who they were playing for, I felt very special about. And I didn't want them to just treat it as another gig. I wanted them to feel from my heart that it was something I felt very deeply about. I've been in this routine with these guys, and to write a piece that you know is going to be flown to, and to write a texture with the pianos having this floating sort of nowhere music, it's the strangest thing. There's no key, it's just this sort of starlight, and that's how I hear it. It's serene, and for those who fly, they know the feeling. The three horsemen have so graciously sort of encapsulated me in the family as the fourth horseman, and it's the first time I really feel like I've carried my weight, that I've contributed something important to the group that perhaps nobody else could have. At the same time, they've taken me under their wing and are teaching me aerobatics and are teaching me flying. And as I get better at that, there's hope that one day I'll be flying to this same piece that I wrote, which is just such a strange thought, which I was thinking as I was conducting it. The music will be part of something much bigger than the music is by itself. Music's part of something magical, which are these airplanes moving in formation. And that's what people will take away. And that will be this year, and that will be next year. And as they perfect their routine, they'll be in lockstep with the piece. And ideally, it will become just a flowing signature for them. Pretty damn good.